can see, I really like early mornings on the Yellowstone River. I just think that they're so magical and I like being out here alone and then the quiet. My schedule is usually I get up around 5, sometimes 4.30 and try to get on the rocks at about 5.45. It takes me about an hour to walk a mile. So it takes me about a half hour to get to one of my two spots on the riverbed here. Uh, Cause I think it's about a half mile. And then I'll usually set up my chair and drink my coffee as I watch the sunrise. Rest my legs a little bit. Since that's, oh gosh, a long walk for me. <laughs> See, this is why I should be sitting down. <laughs> But I think these things are important to mention because I, I never want to make it seem like I'm an outdoors lover who happens to be chronically ill and disabled, but it like doesn't really affect me because obviously that's not the case. It affects me. It informs my experience. It affects my experience. I have to manage my illnesses and disabilities. Um, so I think it's important to talk about those things and I'm trying to get better at that. Um, if you're chronically ill, you know that we're kind of socially conditioned to never talk about our symptoms and our illness because it makes other people uncomfortable. <laughs> so I'm still trying to unlearn that and get more comfortable talking about it and sharing because that's kind of the whole point of this account is talking about being chronically ill and disabled in the outdoors. We'll get there. <laughs> but I'm gonna watch the sunrise and then start looking for rocks. <laughs> I thought I had just found the best one of the trip and I was already psyched and there's a huge one right here and I'm like I can't even I can't even touch it right now because I like oh my god oh my god you guys <laughs>
looks like someone stumbled on my dump pile. <laughs> they took all the agates, that's great. I'm glad that somebody found them and will enjoy them. <laughs> starting to struggle again. My pain level is very, very high and it's starting to make me like physically sick. Like I want to throw up. So I need to sit my ass down for a while and rest. It's hard as much as I love rock counting and it's my favorite thing in the world and I cherish every moment that I have rock hounding. I, it's hard choosing to put yourself in this much pain. And it's not just right now. I'm going to be feeling this pain for at least a week after. It's a trade-off, you know. You make yourself physically worse so that mentally you can do a little bit better and have a little more quality of life and it's worth it and it's hard <laughs> it's hard being in this much pain but i'm gonna enjoy the water and hopefully in an hour or two i'll feel well enough to look around a little bit more and we'll see So I decided to rest where I was washing rocks yesterday, where all those little fish were. And it's keeping my mind off the pain while I rest and cheering me up a little bit. <laughs> I can feel them like pecking at my feet. Well, not pecking. What do the fish do? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, what would be the word? Nibbling? Nibbling's a fine word, I suppose. The fish are nibbling at my feet, and it feels funny. Anyway, I amuse myself. <laughs> Better than being stuck in bed all day. doing there, bud? Anyway, back to the fish. <laughs> so it's been about an hour. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, and I just thought I would take this opportunity to remind everybody that it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to slow down. It's okay to stop. Your outdoor recreation doesn't have to be intense. It doesn't have to be all day long. It doesn't have to look like anybody else's outdoor activities. You do not have to do everything a healthy, able-bodied person does. You don't have to do everything that you used to do. It's okay to find a new way of exploring, a new pace. I used to come out here and rock hound, I mean, 10 hours straight. And it's okay to be disappointed, and it's okay to be frustrated. I certainly am sometimes. But you know, 
when you slow down and take breaks, you get to make some new memories that you might not have otherwise made. Even something as silly as little fish nibbling at your feet. <laughs> it really does give us an opportunity to like take in the view and enjoy a place. better. We're gonna give it one more shot today. I'm back. after I find a good one, I just sit here and smile, clearly. <laughs> and I usually hold it to my chest, which seems so silly. I just like kind of naturally do that. Like I want to protect it. Like I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Can't stop smiling. <laughs> I want to go clean it up, but I'm way fucking far from the river. I'm not, I'm not walking all the way over. I'm going to see if there's more of this up here. <laughs> This is like legit a nice one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be really obnoxious with this as found. Are you ready? Sexy. Look at it. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. If I could cat call or whistle, I fucking would right now. Look at that thing. Yeah, what a way to end the day. Well, my legs feel like they're made of broken glass, so it's probably time to stop for the day. <laughs> Remember folks, lift with your legs, not your back. 
unless your legs suck, and then lift it however you can and just plan to use the heating pad later. back to the camper. Ah, you know, it's amazing. It gets heavier every step. It's kind of incredible. Oh, God. Step. And step. It helps if you turtle it for a minute. <laughs> And get the weight off your shoulders for a minute. <laughs> Everything hurts and I'm dying. Everything hurts and I'm dying. Oh shit, what's that? Keep finding shit. And turtle. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Got it. I didn't even fall over. Still looking at rocks. Cause it's never enough rocks. It's never enough rocks. It's a good thing I'm the only one out here today. <laughs> Wouldn't want anyone witnessing my arduous journey home. <laughs> Shit, now there's somebody coming. Fuck. <laughs> okay, act normal. Act normal. Nothing's happening. I'm just barely moving. Okay. And gonna die. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. distinct possibility that I'm never gonna make it back to the camper. Might just die out here. But I'll have my rock, so, you know, worth it. There is one other option. 